Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In this one, we're continuing it on in the settlement area. We finished off doing the East Anglia Pledge in the last one, and uh, between now and then, I actually did do a little bit of exploring. If I'll just open up the map right now and show you a little bit. So I went through East Anglia, and I did uh, pick up the rest of the wealth. This wealth here, um, it's a special type of wealth that I need to access by killing three witches. This is the symbol that represents the witches. I've only killed one so far, but they are incredibly difficult. And considering the power for, for this area is 55, and the witch power is, over here is 340. So I couldn't actually do that. So we're going to have to wait for this wealth. This is the only wealth remaining in East Anglia. After doing that, I just roamed down here a little bit, picked up some picked up some synchronization points and came over here, picked up these ones and picked up one down here. Just so when we do get a few missions going down south and start doing pledges in this area, it just becomes a little bit easier to move on in that direction. So in doing so, and also doing a few mysteries and, and collecting a few artifacts on the side, we have reached a skill point total of 19. So I think when we left last time, we only had two. So yeah, you can definitely see I did do a, a, a few side missions and a few collectibles and things like that. So let's let's invest in those now. Let's see what we're going to do. I haven't invested any since since last time. So we definitely have some options now. So we have the options uh, to do this one, Hunter Bow Combo. That's definitely what I wanted to do. And I think there was some sort of stealth one as well. Here's Stealth Adrenaline. So I think grabbing those two might be... The best option if we do have if we do have enough skill points to do that but i think we do judging by the fact that we want to do a wolf slash ranged playthrough and with a little little bit of dab in stealth and assassination i think the best way to do this would be to come up through here ranged health we'll grab this wolf come down here grab this light damage Oh, that doesn't connect. Okay, so we're going to go around this way. Fire, stealth, ability, power. What's this? Range critical. Okay, so we're going to have to come around this way. So, stealth adrenaline we have. Now we'll come up this way. Ability damage, stealth damage, hunter bow combo. Oh, wow. Is that an adrenaline point? Oh, that changes things. We could definitely grab... Oh no, Adrenaline Fiend. When one or more Adrenaline slots are filled, you gain a damage boost and attack speed boost. This effect augments with each slot filled. Oh, that's interesting. So this is actually the first time we've reached this sort of area, right? Like we haven't really tapped into the, to the melee side of things yet. But it's not actually an Adrenaline point. It just gives you a damage boost when you have one left over. So, I mean, we've pretty much unlocked everything over here. Hey, there's not much more to see. I do want to hit this hit this way of the wolf up because we are running wolf gear. So that's just going to be an all-round nice boost. Here's another way of the wolf. We'll grab that as well. So any other things? Here's another one down here. That'll help. Let's check if we can see any more. There's one here, but I need two points to get it. And remember, it's not that bad to do this, guys, because you can always reset all your points at any time. So it's not too dramatic if you go around and just have a little bit of a play with it and then reset. Because you, if you screw something up, well, it's fine. Doesn't matter. So I think I'm going to invest two down here. Where was that last wolf one? Over here. To get this last wolf upgrade. More stun, more critical chance, more armor. It just gives you an all-round all -round buff, basically. And ranged resistance is always good, so we'll grab these two. So now we're sitting at power 110. So I think next, we're going to come up here. Assassin damage, heavy damage, ranged. We're going to grab headshot and poison. And we're going to come up in this direction up here. I'm not too keen about this adrenaline fiend. It might be okay. Because you do often have a, a number of adrenaline points left over. Alright, so. With that done, let's, uh, let's check out the quest that we have around here, eh? In Raventhorpe. So, speak to Tove. Okay, that one we unlocked as soon as we got back to camp previously. So we'll go over here and have a chat to her and see what she wants. I don't know how to draw without your hand to... Tove. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Tove, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. 
We had planned to brand Tecla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready, and I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work, as if nothing happened, because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give, but all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. Oh, okay. Well, there's another two. So with those two skill points, we'll put those in now. Over on the right-hand side over here, we'll go up in this direction. A little bit more assassination damage. Always good. So I think as well, if once you scale your assassination uh, damage, even though you can't kill someone, if you have a little bit more assassination damage, it'll make it a little bit easier to for that cutscene, I think. I think those white circles will become a little bit bigger. Because they're smaller depending on how much, like how harder the person is to kill. But yeah, I think that's how that works. Alright, let's go into this Hidden Ones Bureau because if we double check our our order thing over here, we have also knocked out a few of these guys as well while traveling around. So what's that? All together seven. And we're working our way. We've got a few clues. So here, three clues, one clue, one clue. We know where uh, Red, Red Wilder is because we found her in one of the one of the earlier episodes, but we haven't actually gone back to her yet, but he might give us some more clues on where to find some people now. Oh, true, we also have four order medallions now, this, that's good. Here, this marks fewer members of the order. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. Oh, okay, we're gonna give another six. I have to go. Then go in peace. So that means we need ten altogether, and I think how many did we say we got? Seven. So we probably need three more before we can before we can hand them in again. So that was another ability. Let's check out this ability. Oh, there's two. Okay, so one for ranged and one for, for melee. Applies a poisonous concoction to your right hand melee weapon. Poison enemies suffer additional damage over time. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Applies a poisonous concoction to the tip of your arrows. Okay, so they're both too, they both do exactly what you think they do. Not too, not too complicated there. Let's go make our next pledge now. And it seems like they are, there's a few letters waiting for us Richard as well. Roland, Holger, why all this shouting? Uh, a new letter. Oh, from Soma. Randvi, I demand that this matter be settled here and now. Have patience, Rowan. There is a time and a place for such disputes. Oh, that's in the other room. 
I thought they were reading my letter. <laughs> letter from Sona Avor. You ended my mind today. I was thinking about how I felt when I lost Granta Bridge, the anger, the doubt. You helped me reclaim my city, but you did more than that. You helped me, rec you helped me reclaim what I had lost in myself Holger, today. My people, my city, they are stronger than it they've ever be been. So difficult. And I'm a proud leader what? once more. Okay. Alright, what's going on here? Then... Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Raw disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now! There is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgifur's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. All this is walking stick. Tovi's inks? All were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alcafer's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. 
Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver <laughs> is the only color I wish to see. But what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. It's funny, I've noticed that kid for a while now. And we just... like I've never just started the quest. I didn't Where think it would they? be that relevant. Not far. We need to hurry. But now he acts as if it's like super urgent. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny because... It means it's been urgent for like a few weeks now. <laughs> what happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just just trust me. I think he did it. You did it. You brought Eivor. Good work, Knut. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. A wolf! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She's crying. We Does it say find a way to free the wolf? Her family probably misses her. Huh. Alright, maybe there's something in the house here? This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. The key to the front door. I must be cautious opening it. I'll free that wolf and pray to Tear that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. Ah, okay, so maybe the wolf was like a pet or something and the owner never came back? Easy. Yeah, here we are. Easy. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Wait, where'd it go? Outside. Are you alright? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away, and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement, before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, 
All right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Oh, more wolves! And not our new friend! Uh-oh. Stand back! Ah, oh, I get it. Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Avor? Definitely gonna name name it Chewy because my cat is actually called Chewy. <laughs> Chewy, I suppose. Good as any other. She's our best friend. Cool. We got a wolf. Not bad. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. What I was gonna say before to have an adventure like you is when you're aiming like that. Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. When you aim in and you want to shoot, those like other well, the like the reticule changes. Have you children learned anything? And I'm pretty sure if we look at our skills and we go over this way, where is it? Not arrow reinforcement. Here it is. Release your arrow as soon as it finishes uh, finished drawing to make the next one draw faster. And I think that's the symbol. I think that's the symbol when those when the reticule changes and those other parts of the reticule zoom in. I think that's the symbol for being able to load the next one quicker. What I also have to try out is, or that as well actually, the bow stun finisher. I keep forgetting I can do that in this one. Fire two fully charged arrows by pressing right bumper with hunter bow. I haven't tried that yet. Hang on, let's try that now. Ah, okay. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home. So for this for this shot where you release two arrows, you can't actually pre-release that. It just charges up by itself and you can't you can't hold it when it's finished charging up, it just goes out automatically, so it might be a little bit difficult to use, but it's obviously probably a lot It's obviously a lot more powerful when the enemy doesn't know you're there because you don't have I to think worry. She's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. All right, sweet. Save the wolf. So let's go and start our next pledge then, shall we? Is that the wolf there? It is. Huh. Hello, Eivor. Good day. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. Yes, I'd heard. The poor man. I wish you could have spent more time with him before the end. 
I think we all wish that. Tovi most of all. So here we go, next pledge. Oh, what? We get like maybe a side quest Bandy, here. Are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, she doesn't want to say? Landry, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but... Not until you... Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Huh, we could go now, I guess. We don't really have anything to do. We could start up the pledge later. This might be a, an interesting quest Bradley, line. Take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. You will need to cross the river at some point if you want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Hmm, okay, I don't really understand what the whole goal of this is, just to bring her out. I guess we just take her to Grandebridge on a horseback and and that's it, I guess. Alright, so if nothing happens here, I'm just going to fast forward for you guys. Because this doesn't seem like a very interesting quest. <laughs> well, 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 it's the I see. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Shoma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. Oh, she's keen. <laughs> I guess I'd be keen too if I was locked up in that... In that longhouse the, river, the whole time. Said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randy. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do. And now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we fight them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If 
If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. No. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. What we also forgot to do as well at camp, we forgot to upgrade our bow. The bandit camp. All right, stay close. It's probably not much of a not much of an issue. At the horizon. By all means. <laughs> oh, they can see us already. Okay. I thought you wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle. So here we go. <laughs> Oh, true. I could have, um, I could have performed my stun attack on that guy again. I'll try and do it on this guy. Hang on. Unfortunately, I don't have any any arrows left, yeah. At some point I gotta try and perform this bow stun attack, because I haven't actually tried that out yet. It seems pretty interesting. Maybe on this guy, if we can get it, we can hit him in the right spot. Now we're just too powerful now. That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. Wait, how's this gonna work? Didn't we... Didn't we come with two horses? Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Because we came with two horses, and now we're leaving one and taking a different one. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Thank you for the with the best. Apparently she, she 100% has to go in this door. <laughs> Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the courts, she is safe. And thank you, Avo. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Over here. Look oh, here we go. What are you playing at? Came for a drink. A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolf kissed versus table maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than table maiden. Mead queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. This is like the one game in Assassin's Creed that I'm actually not bad at. This drinking game. Oh, whoops. Rumonger. 
You have my feet, Your You see? Should not have tried to outdrink me, Randvi. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, Thank you, Randvi. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already. Well, I think she's actually pretty keen on Eivor. I think this might be Andrew. some sort of romance section. Turn if I I'm not mistaken. To Thank you. For everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. Isn't this his horse that we just took again? <laughs> I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described his tower for me. A desolate, yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Keep up. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. Wait, what? Keep up? Oh, she's climbing from the outside. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jet. I have raked the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Well, well. Look at this. Oh, sweet. Found a treasure map on the way up. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. I can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... 
I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. Uh oh. So what? Like she said before, she's married to Sigurd? Hmm. That could definitely cause some complications. I care for you as a friend is definitely just straight up locked down in the friend zone. <laughs> so let's say now is not the right time. I do wish that I could indulge this feeling further. But that is not possible. Of course. Yes. I was foolish to. Let this be a dream then. A moment that never happened but in our minds. I would not wish you to see me so weak as that. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Ah, uh, hopefully. Hopefully she's not pissed at us now, after all that. Oh wow, 6,800 experience. That is a lot. Alrighty, invest those two points. Up there. Alright, so if she's not there, we can probably just fast travel back to our camp now. So the plan is to upgrade our weapon, make the next pledge, we'll have to see where we're going to go to next, and then we might call it for the episode, I think. May I see you? So what do we got here? We got our bow. Our bow is a flawless hunter bow. Oh, we did upgrade this. Sorry, I forgot. True, we already upgraded these two in the last, in the last part. Did we? I'm not sure. Maybe I've done that in the separate... Maybe I did that in the uh, in the time between, I don't know. But anyway, these are definitely upgraded. But we can choose to upgrade something else now as well because we have four ingots. So this Huntsman gear is... I'm pretty set on this staying, to be honest. Because this additional damage when it's for, when uh, an enemy is further than 20 meters away is pretty, is pretty nice. And if we upgrade four different things, that means we get four bonus rune slots, which is a lot better than just getting an extra rune slot on the shield. So I think that's what we're going to do now. Oh sweet, it got a it got a look upgrade as well. There we go, looking pretty good. So we just need four more. Yeah, four more nickel ingots to be able to upgrade these two. And then we're sweet. Then we gotta keep our eyes open for these tungsten ingots. I wonder I wonder what level we have to Nothing find those. Else I can do for you. I have to go fight well, Avor. Seems good. Alright, let's go pledge. Avor. Randvi, why did you leave? We could have returned together. We could have, but I was Restless. A quiet walk alone clears the head. And you do snore a little. Like a wounded bear. <laughs> That's a lie. I had a wonderful time, Eivor. Thank you for your company. And your friendship. And you for yours. Now, shall we get back to it? Uh, okay, so you can pretty much continue this romance thing at any point, I think, if you want to. But we're going to leave that for I now. Want to see the Alliance map. It'll cause a shitstorm with Sigurd, I think. So, we have three options. We can go to London, which we get a settlement upgrade. Oxenfordshire, which we get rewards, just like raw materials. 
Or we can get silver from Syropishaya. Man, these these town names are so difficult to pronounce. Um, this might be nice to take hold because it sort of it sort of solidifies this central area of of what we've what we've got so far. If we take London, this sort of separated by Oxfordshire. It might be a little bit weird to get between those two. This is where Kelbert, I think, is now. For right now, I think we're just going to go for Oxenfordshire, get some rewards. What of Oxenfordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. All right, not bad. Finally going to meet up with Sigurd again. So I guess it's probably pretty good that we didn't do anything with Ranvi, otherwise things would get pretty awkward. <laughs> All right, so for now we can send out our raven. And we do have a, f see you, a few materials that maybe we could invest in. So we could go fishing, Yom's Viking, or we could upgrade our boat. Hmm. Let's go upgrade our boat, actually. If we have a little bit left over, then we'll do the, uh, the fishing thing. So it looks like it's over here. Here we go. So what do we got? Well, we got 175. Wow, we got a fair bit of materials. One. So what can we do here now? Expert craftsman Gud Run can modify your long ship so long as she has the right cosmetic scheme. Return with new schemes to unlock and apply new customizations. Okay. Oh, interesting. The Wanderlust Sail, okay. Yeah, okay, we'll match it then. Actually, no, we'll go for the the girl on that one. Uh, the black one looks better as well, we'll go for that. For the head, oh, this one looks sick. Yeah. Then we'll do the back one the same to match it all up. Alright, cool. Is that it? I must be on my... Don't be a stranger. So where's our ship there? That's what it looks like now. Yeah, sweet. Alright, so we can do the fishing now as well, because we definitely have enough. Oh, here we go. Settlement upgraded. So what do we unlock now? Carrie's house, cattle farm, grain farm, Mater's house, okay. Thanks for the good work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. Alright, sweet. So what do we do here? I have something that may interest you. As your settlement grows, so do its needs. Offer the goods needed for delivery and you'll be and you will be amply rewarded. Ah, okay, so I've heard tell that this one's a real fighter. Oh wow, this is nice. Like a nickel ingot. We just gotta catch these types of fish. Oh wow, look at this one. A tungsten bar. Wow, the tungsten bar would be really nice right Only now. Only a true fisherman could catch this one. A lot of stuff to get though. Thanks, All right. Eivor. Something to keep in I'll mind. See you later, friend. Come visit again soon. And we could probably do this Yom's Viking thing while we're at it, just because why not? We have enough resources at this point. This 
we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Okay, here we go. We design, design our Yom's Viking. That's cool. Ah, okay. So we can only equip him with the looks of something we've already unlocked. Makes sense. This one looks the best, though. I like this one. I think it looks pretty cool. We'll match up all the armor as well. Oh, one selected you may not change your Yom's Viking gender or appearance. Yeah, right. We'll leave it like that. Alright everyone, that is where I'm going to leave it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.